Good morning, everybody. Shalom and love. God bless you all sincerely in this. So, um, I, I decide that um, I would do a little video, excuse the light, um, with regards to um, the accusations. So, the Lord was warning me this will come. Um, we were away recently and we noticed something very unusual. So, as we were away, we we saw the rainbow for about an hour non-stop we've never seen that before can you imagine driving at high speeds up to maybe 80 miles per hour and one rainbow there's another rainbow it was like a tunnel of rainbows and we couldn't get it understand so we began to pray in the spirit and stuff but we understood that the lord was promising us that his covenant, like, you know, as he made, we know that he'll never flood the earth, that he was with us. And uh, there's some things that we would need to endure for his sake. With regards to the to those who are accusing the ministry um, of, 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 of rubbing them, etc. So, I mean, this is only one one person, but there's, there's, there's others who are not brave enough to come out, out of thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Out of thousands. However... Let me say like this to the accusers. Number one, if you were of the Lord Jesus Christ, number one, and you believe that that happened, you would take it to the Lord Jesus Christ and let the Lord Jesus Christ did deal with the issue. You will not be out there on social media with your attempts trying to, to smear and to slander and to slay to a ministry, you and your helpmates, you Jezebel and her Enochs. You see, Part of this manifestation too is because the Jezebel spirit, your assignment has failed because there were many plots to spiritually assassinate me and to, and to, and to bring the ministry to nothing. Um, and this is something that went, went on through the period of years. And there's some people that I should have disassociated myself with, but there's some people also the Lord told me, no, no, don't do that. Let them stay in your midst because you will see in the end why I have done this. About four days ago, I had a visitation from the Lord Jesus Christ in the spirit. And I was saying when I saw the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, you see how they're accusing me, Father. And the Lord said, I know. But what? What was so unusual is that the Lord's loving countenance turned to like, it, his countenance went to like, turned to like, I don't know, like fire, like an anger. But the anger did not look like how man on earth anger looked. His anger looked, but his face was like the when it was when when this so I realized, oh my goodness, I've never seen this before to the point that I I kind of became afraid. So, but his anger. So the countenance in this anger, his face looked like perfectly cut shaped diamonds. I've never seen nothing. It's it's so hard to explain. So that was about four days ago. So, help me. Help me, Lord. When was it? So about two days after, three days up, maybe day before yesterday, I was home. And I, what was it I was doing? I, I was doing something. I'm not sure if it was reading the Bible. I, I was doing something, reading the word. And then I was taken in to the spirit. And I heard this voice like the, I don't know if, I, be, I believe it was the father's voice. And I heard the voice said this to me clearly. But despite in its tone of voice, there was this love and this. And the voice said like this, and then the, phew, the vision disappeared. And I heard, curse be your accusers. And nothing more, nothing less. And I was startled. I was like, oh my goodness. Kind of like, you know, like, Ooh, did you hear that? Did anybody else hear that? Just like that, and it disappeared. So... The Bible specifically has a lot of protocol for. 
So what the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord is telling me now to stop and go back. And the Lord said, look, if I tell people to give, they're giving to me, not to you. So the true problem is that they have is they have with me because I'm the person who told you, who told them to give. So again, this is one out of all kinds of thousands. This was an assassination attempt against the ministry for years. They were working behind the scenes, several people. They were trying to thwart. They were they, they come and it was an uh, it was an assignment to overthrow the ministry. It was an assignment to shut us down. Sorry, everybody. I'm just looking around. Always be um, from a military perspective, very cautious of your environment. Amen. It was an attempt. It was an assassination attempt to assassinate the ministry, its character from day one. I'd said to you that we knew and we were aware of it. This is why it didn't happen. But the Lord made me aware that this is something I have to go through for his sake. This is this this accusation, this this slit slander is something that I had to go through for his sake. Amen. Back to the Bible. When people are children of light, children of God, there's a specific way of doing things. Um, you don't go on the social media slandering and slatering because there are other people who are seeing through and other people are shocked and other people who are seeing. And However, I'm not going to bring them involved, but other people are monitoring them. Other people are seeing what is going on, you know. This is not the biblical way. This is an assassination attempt, and it's involved with false prophets. False prophets. You, the agents of false prophets. You who were planted by false prophets. It, it's an agent with people, and I'm not here to call your names and none of that. Actually, I pray that the Lord will forgive you for you know not what you do. That is my prayer for you. Number two. Number three, I bring you this morning before the Lord Jesus Christ because of your accusations. And I say this morning, let the Lord, for, for all of my accusers and all of you who hear this message, who have teamed up with the accusers to try to slate and to slander us. And we see that the Bible talks about how they did the same with Jesus Christ, you know. So I say to you, all the accusers and the slanderers and all you who heard this and stuff, and because clearly people can see that you're not you're not children of light. You're 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 not of the 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 the, the, the spirit of God. You're not you're not you you people are seeing through that actually. However, so I say this morning that the Lord Jesus Christ judge between me and you. I I I I I call this day. I call this day all of my accusers and every person who is holding hand in agreement with you. May the Lord Jesus Christ not miss one of you wherever you're spread out around the world this morning. I call the Lord Jesus Christ to judge between me and you this morning. Judge between me and you this morning. Whatever that means for you physically and spiritually. I'm calling the Lord Jesus Christ this day to judge between me and my accusers this morning. And this is the only response that I will give to that, really. And I have no more responses to give on that. So now is in the Lord Jesus Christ's hands. Um, I, 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 that, that, that is it. But there's a lot to learn from this. And though it is sad and we are praying for the accusers, That the Lord forgive them for they know not what they do. It also highlights how all along, you see, we were right about every single one. There are others who are not saying anything, but they have been part in the pot to pull down to slander and to slater. You know, so for these past for pastors and men of God around the world, this is something that's happening. And I'm sure you're even hearing um, you know, pastors and apostle prophet who are who are on the scenes, on the media, talking about this deep witchcraft happening in the church. Witchcraft is happening in the church. There are many people who are coming. They are not of Jesus Christ. They are masqueraded. You know, they're they, they planted in your, in, in, in your like, like, like cells, 
like terror cells. They're planted in your ministry for a specific time, for a specific hour. They've been working and trying their best behind to influence people and, and, and get as many on side as they could and to, to derail you and to slander and to slay to you. But, as I said this day, whatever it means for you and for every person involved, I, I, I summons you before the Lord Jesus Christ this day and I say the Lord Jesus Christ, judge between me and you. May the Lord judge between me and you this morning. So, um, there's a lots to there's lots to learn from this, and um, something great is happening. Something great is happening. Something great is happening. So, this is now about nine months that I've been nine months am i right oh yeah i think it's coming to the nine months now that i've been fasting and jesus says some does not come out except through prayer and fasting and um you know i believe that the closer we get to jesus christ the more things i expose so um Amen. It's quite interesting. I'm being careful because I don't want to reveal too much. It is now before the Lord Jesus Christ for review. Amen. So I'm just um, leaving it into his hands and I don't want to reveal too much. But um, I just thank the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank him for his protection. I thank you for his shield. And by the way, when you're out trying to slander and slit a ministry, let me disclaimer, I don't own a ministry. Though we say by ministry, just terminology, the ministry belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible states, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. The gates of hell will not prevail against it. When I spoke the word about the lady not wanting the money, but I didn't even call your name. I hid your name. I hid your name. I had another incident the other day too where somebody turned against me that I, you know, reached out. Somebody that the Lord had physically warned me a while back to have nothing to do with, you know, but, you know, out of love, I reached out to them and, you know, people trying all kinds of stuff to just about spirit. I prayed with them. Think of it. Somebody reached out to you. You prayed with them. If you study back your conversations, you had nothing strange. You said nothing strange. And within two weeks, the person turned on you. So I am really kind of now, before when I was looking at this and, you know, Lord, hmm, I'm really kind of, this is giving me endurance. This is giving me an energy boost to really endure for the Lord Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says that there's some things we need to suffer for the sake of the Lord. Woo! I said this has given me a boost to endure for the Lord Jesus Christ. Because there are many lawless people on social media. You are jealous. You are grudgeful. You are envious. If you hear that God is increasing a ministry something, Satan planted you around the church to, 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 to pull down people's ministries, to slander and to slater. But, I don't, I don't know how other men of God deal with it. But as I said now for maybe the fifth and or the sixth time, the Lord Jesus Christ is morning judge between me and you. Whatever spiritual, physical implications that means, so be it. Amen. The Bible also gives um, the many specifics for people like you. But I pray for you. My prayer is that Father forgive them for they know not what they do. But the Lord Jesus Christ will have the ultimate say. He will have the ultimate. He will make the ultimate decision. But my prayer is that the Lord forgive them for they know not what they do. So, um, we've learned a lot. And um, what I could say that our spiritual senses, our spiritual eyes, 
and our spiritual discernment have been you have sharpened us sharper than a samurai sword. You have made us sharper than a samurai sword. Amen. You have made us sharper than a samurai sword. Amen. Because, um, hallelujah. I'm thinking carefully as not to reveal too much. Amen. You've made us sharper than a samurai sword. And oh boy, boy, will we continue to love Jesus. We will continue with clean hands and a pure heart to labor for the Lord. We will continue. We will push in. We will press in. Rekata mashanda lebokosi. I'm telling you, rahamashenia, rahamashenia. Hear me. Boy. Are we energized for Jesus Christ? Boy! Are we in love with the Lord Jesus Christ? Boy! Is our fire burning for Jesus Christ? Boy! Hey! hey! Amen. I just had a vision. As I was just glorifying the Lord and in the spirit, I just saw like the Lord put up again. I had this yesterday, but I saw like the Lord put a barricade. A barricade now like that. Not sorry, like an angel put put a, a, a barricade around those whom the Lord has just round up in the spirit. Um, nonetheless, um, amen. So, Father, I praise you this morning. I bless you. I glorify and I lift up your name, Elohim Adonai El Shaddai, for you're the God of more than enough. You're the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Rakanda Bashataba Karemindos. Another thing, for those of you who are saying that you're called by the, by the name of the Lord and trying to put witchcraft, trying to burn charms, trying to burn voodoo, Trying to do all kinds of stuff, animal sacrifice. What are you going to do next? Try to sacrifice your own children or your own family to stop me? What is going to be your next step? Is Satan going to require your life now to try to stop me? Because we love the Lord Jesus Christ and we are going to prod on. We are moving on. Amen. Retasala minde bukata. Amen. Hamashenia. Barua Kata. I want you to understand something. For the naysayers, for the haters, we love you. We reach out to people and show them our love. And we know around the world, but sometimes we reach out to people, they're very skeptical and, and we are watching everything. But we know our motive is pure. Our motive is pure. Our motive is pure. Amen. So hallelujah. Weeping may be for night, but joy comes in the morning. So again, I wanted to, oh, I didn't finish up what I was saying. So the Lord began to show me, oh, there are people trying to curse, curse your fight. Why, why? You try to curse, but you said that I robbed you, but you're trying to curse. So you're confessing then that you're witches, wizards, warlocks. <laughs> are you confessing then that you've always been witches? Hiding, masquerading in ministries. Are you confessing that that has been your employment from day one? Nonetheless. So that was just my little simple response to the accusations. God bless you, children of God out there who are amongst the accusers. May the Lord Jesus Christ give you eyes to see and everything. The Lord say, Jesus, amen. Sorry. <laughs>